Hey, what's up guys? Dan here, and in today's video I'm going to talk about why AliExpress sucks. Yes, why AliExpress sucks for dropshipping and the best alternatives that you can use instead of AliExpress to rise up above 99% of all of the other people that are trying to start dropshipping, all of the other amateur beginner dropshippers. Look, when I started dropshipping about a year ago, I tried using AliExpress and I tried using all of the methods that were available on YouTube and nothing worked. Even though I already had a lot of experience with e-com because I'd already had an established Amazon FBA business. And so, you know, at the same time, I wanted to start dropshipping because I wanted to start uh, educating my YouTube channel to actually you know how to start doing it as well and then I wanted to expand my own brains onto Shopify too so at the time when I was actually you know playing around with Shopify I was trying out AliExpress and I realized how bad the existing dropshipping model is and I'm going to talk about in this video why you should completely avoid using AliExpress and how fulfillment centers and uh, dropshipping agents are so much better and even Alibaba are so much better than AliExpress so stop using AliExpress I know this goes against all of the conventional wisdom of dropshipping but you'll understand why I'm saying this in this video so I'll Express. Why is it bad? Look, it's great for dropshipping random dollar store stuff and, you know, constantly having to find new hot products every month. And there's the problem. That's where the problem lies. You constantly have to find new hot products every month. That's why if I go and I make a video with, you know, the top five products to dropship now, it gets a ton more views than a video like this, talking about something that is actually valuable, something that will allow you to build a proper e-commerce brand on Shopify and scale it to six figures and seven figures a year and change your life. Now, the reason why using AliExpress for dropshipping is so unsustainable in the long term is because you constantly have to find new hot products every month. The sad part is, is that if I would make a hot product uh, video like every single day, it would get way more views. You know, top three hot dropshipping products to sell now, that would get way more views than this actually informative video that allows you to rise above 99% of other dropshippers. So it's just the whole system is flawed if you're using AliExpress. And here are just some of the cons. And these are just some of them. And when I first started using AliExpress, I realized this very quickly. And so AliExpress is extremely impractical for actually building a legitimate and profitable Shopify store. And the reason for that, and I'm going to go into the AliExpress website, I want to show you that uh, in a second here, because the whole way that the system is set up is to encourage more and more competition to come in, fight over cheap Chinese garbage products uh, to sell without a logo, without an actual brand, and then basically just giving yourself more competition and all the hours that you're putting in, all the money that you're putting in to actually build your store and to get customers to run ads, eventually every Every single day, every single week, over time it gets ruined and you basically become like a full-time dropshipper, not making any money because you're constantly having to find hot products. You also can't build a brand. You can't put your logo on your product. If you go and just copy paste product using Oberlo, which is an app that maybe you're familiar with, it's an app that allows you to basically uh, take any product of AliExpress, put it on your store and then sell it, right? And then you pocket the difference between AliExpress and what you're selling the, the price on your store. So you can't actually put your logo on Oberlo. It's literally just taking the product from AliExpress, putting it on your store and essentially what that does is you're just reducing yourself to becoming the middleman between China and the rest of the world now you might argue that well anyway if we're drop shipping we're the middlemen anyway right like Chinese factories can just sell to the rest of the world and I'm gonna tell you you're absolutely wrong if you think that because any other you know e-commerce brand out there or physical products brand like all the things 99% of the things in your house right now go look at the tag it says made in China if it was marketed the way that the factory would just market it themselves you would not buy that the reason that why you have it is because brands are behind that there's brand equity there's you know actual trust behind what you're buying because you're buying it from stores in your country either online or in retail locations and so that's why uh, using AliExpress basically is just uh, selling something that is straight out of the factory without any kind of branding and no logo and so obviously how do you expect your customers to keep coming back if they know well okay this is kind of I'm kind of skeptical you know they receive the product and it just has like Chinese uh, brochures in it and it's Chinese marketing material because yes uh, the factories actually do send uh, Chinese marketing material Material with your product if you just use AliExpress and also AliExpress has become so insanely expensive that you know those all those uh, people on AliExpress that are selling those products they've realized that there are so many uh, new dropshippers amateur dropshippers that have no idea what they're doing they're trying to go run some simple Facebook ads that they get off Fiverr and you know they're trying to go and basically pocket the difference between Facebook ads and uh, AliExpress product and so they're not stupid the factories on AliExpress and so that's why they charge extremely expensive prices and you also have a total lack of control and in reality it's just a giant mess it's basically the easiest way to try to do dropshipping uh, spend a ton of hours lose a ton of money running uh, Facebook ads 
and realizing that your profit is, you know, if, if it even exists, is razor thin. And also the last part, the last reason, and this is the biggest con why AliExpress sucks, is because uh, if you have a successful product, right, uh, what happens is that on AliExpress, it shows how many orders there are uh, from that product recently, right? So obviously, if you found a product and it's successful, you finally found that good product, then what's gonna happen is that uh, the order count's gonna rise and there are millions of people in the world, probably hundreds of millions of people in the world watching AliExpress and they're seeing that, you know, obviously they're watching for products that have a rising order count and what happens is products that have a rising order count, okay, that means that they're selling more and they're gonna go and become your competition. And this is clearly shown right here. As you can see, I typed in iPhone case. Uh, if you're gonna go and enter the case market, I mean, I would not drop ship iPhone cases, but look, right? 71,000 sold, 70,000 sold. So AliExpress makes it very easy for anybody in the world to see what the highest selling dropshipping products are. And so AliExpress makes money that way because they make money on transaction fees. And so they don't care if you don't make any profit. They don't care if you have a ton of competition. So, you know, the whole thing is just unsustainable. That's why I highly recommend as a first best alternative using Alibaba. Now I'm gonna present three different alternatives, uh, one low barrier to entry alternative, one medium, and one high. And by barrier to entry, I mean how easy is it for your grandmother to go and copy your entire business model, right? So, like if it's extremely easy, then obviously it's unsustainable and you probably shouldn't quit your nine to five job. It's not something that will actually give you the freedom that you're looking for in your life to live the life of your dreams. So if we go and analyze why Alibaba is actually really, really much better than AliExpress, um, um, there are many products available uh, on Alibaba that are just not on AliExpress. And I realized that in my own personal experience. 80% of my successful products have been found on Alibaba. And yes, I was actually the first YouTuber that found out that, hey, you can go and contact Alibaba suppliers. On Alibaba, the difference is that they're used to just shipping in bulk. So you just basically order like a thousand units and you pay them, you know, however much it is for a thousand units. And then you go and store the inventory somewhere and sell it, for example, on Amazon. And I realized, okay, you know, I sell on Amazon. And so why not? Why not just basically uh, also message Alibaba suppliers and ask if they drop ship? And they do. So that's why Alibaba has been a much better source for me to find amazing products and it will be a much better source for you. And I'll show you an example of that that will prove that it's much better than AliExpress right after this uh, slide. So it's also higher quality, much more experienced suppliers in my experience on Alibaba. Uh, and the reason for that is because the suppliers or the people that are on Alibaba selling products there's a lot more actual factories on Alibaba with years of experience uh, that, you know, do like 10 million, 100 million a year in revenue in uh, transactions. So they have a lot of experience manufacturing products and sending them to uh, the United States, Canada, anywhere in the world. Uh, meanwhile, on AliExpress, most of the people on there are just trying to make a quick buck. Even these suppliers, they're not actual factories, they're just middlemen. And so what they do is they, you know, they're in China on the ground. They just buy it low from a factory and then resell it to you, the, you know, dumb dropshipper who doesn't know that, hey, you basically have no not much profit left. So Alibaba is much better, although it is a low barrier to entry alternative because anybody can just use it. You can just go switch from using AliExpress uh, over to Alibaba and right away, you're gonna be uh, much better off than a lot of other dropshippers. Also, Alibaba has much better prices. Uh, you can easily negotiate better prices because suppliers, when you message them, they're used to giving quotes for bulk quantities. And of course, the more of a quantity that you order of a product uh, when you're buying in bulk, then the cheaper the price is per unit, right? And since we're not ordering in bulk, we're just contacting them to ask them to drop ship for us, uh, we can see the lowest price that they can go. And then we have a better understanding of like how low we can negotiate the prices. Because as you know, you can always, 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 and you should always, always, always negotiate with Chinese suppliers when you're ordering products for your online business. And finally, it's easy to put your logo on your product on Alibaba because there are so many suppliers on there that are used to putting on a logo. Like this is something that they do for every single customer. They you know put on customized logos, customized boxes. And the only condition sometimes is that uh, you'll have to order a minimum order quantity of 50, 100 or 200 units uh, that you have to pre-order. You don't always have to do that. A lot of the times you can convince them to actually go and drop ship your product with logo. All you do is download your orders in a CSV from Shopify and you send it as an Excel spreadsheet to your supplier. And you know you do that once a day or once every two days and then they go and fulfill it each, each unit directly to the customer. And of course you pay them uh, their price you know, and the shipping to each customer. Just as an example, if we go and type in massage gun, both on AliExpress and Alibaba, and this is a very uh, popular trending product nowadays, popularized by Theragun. So if we look at this right now, uh, massage gun on AliExpress, 89 to $95 per piece. Uh, here we have 58 to 80, right? Like half of these, and of course we got this, half of these are, um, are uh, middlemen. 
right? That knocked me off a bit. But if we go on Alibaba.com, as you can see, the price is significantly cheaper. 50 to 55, 85 to 200, yeah, sure. But if we go, right, here's uh, one unit minimum order. We can go and also click verify supplier and we can also click trade assurance, which filters it all the way down to 2,249 products only because these are vetted suppliers by Alibaba. They've gone through inspections and they're much better quality than what you'll find on AliExpress. And these suppliers are actually used to putting logos on your product for you, as well as, you know, creating like um, uh, product inserts, which is a piece of paper that you can go and you can write in your brand information as well as like leave us a review and your social media as well. So if we try to find a high quality massage gun here, for example, this one, 36 to 38 dollars looks pretty high quality. If I go and try to find the same one here, you can see how much junk there is. The same thing right here looks like 81 to 85 dollars, right? So there you go. And as a as a supplier template, like what you actually write to the supplier on Alibaba for drop shipping, I have a supplier template down below. Link is in the description, so you can go and check it out. And that will you can just download it, and it's the exact template that I use to go and message suppliers on Alibaba for drop shipping. And eventually, what you do is you switch over to using fulfillment center. So you actually start ordering in bulk from these suppliers. Uh, after you've already verified there's demand for your product, you're already getting sales, you're making money, you reinvest that profit into ordering in bulk and you hold it in a fulfillment center, which we're going to get to uh, as one of the other alternatives uh, instead of using AliExpress. Now, the second alternative to AliExpress is using what's called a dropshipping agent. And so these people are actual agents on the ground in China. They speak the language, they speak Mandarin, and they can find you products extremely fast and at much cheaper rates, not always, but sometimes compared to AliExpress and Alibaba. And so in my experience using dropshipping agents, to be honest with you, 50-50. So for 50% of my products, I've used dropshipping agents. Even products that I found on Alibaba, I've contacted a dropshipping agent in China, and I had them go and find the product for a little bit cheaper. And so it's up to you at that point, you know, what you want to do. I'm just presenting you the best alternatives, the best options, so you can go and make your own decision as to what's best. You can also private label with a dropshipping agent. Uh, however, it's much more work for them, and I highly recommend you go straight to Alibaba if you want to do that, because Alibaba, the suppliers on there are already used to it. And also, this is the best part about using a dropshipping agent. I've actually gone and used a dropshipping agent in China, somebody on the ground there who speaks the language, and I've developed a great relationship with him, and he basically helps me with, like, knowing if if, you know, suppliers are charging me fair shipping prices, if they're trying to, you know, play me over any fees, any costs, right? Sometimes your shipping costs change randomly. And so I always verify things with him. And so, you know, this is amazing for that reason. If you want to learn who the, my drop shipping agent that I use is, just go ahead and message me. Now for faster shipping, they offer much faster shipping options, such as Yoon Express, uh, which is a form of shipping in China. That's the fastest one. And it's much faster compared to ePacket, which takes two to three weeks. Uh, and also standard ocean shipping. A lot of products have been canceled with ePacket and now uh, you can only use standard ocean shipping, which takes like more than a month, which is absolutely, you know, ridiculous. It's too long nowadays where so many customers are used to Amazon two to three day shipping. And the final alternative and the best, this is also the highest barrier to entry alternative uh, that you should uh, consider using if you have some capital and if you're already selling well. Fulfillment centers. This is the real key to success with Shopify. And this is what every single multi-million dollar Shopify brand has done and does every day. Now, even if you don't want to build a multi-million dollar uh, store on Shopify, you just want to earn enough income to quit your job and uh, earn the freedom that you deserve in your life. Let me tell you that it's good to have a goal and it's good to aim big, right? You can never settle. And once you realize the power of e-commerce, once you realize just how simple it is, right? It's not easy, but it's simple to build a profitable store online on Shopify, then obviously you're going to go and hit the millions and the multi-millions, you know, pretty quickly within a matter of years. And so that's why you need to understand that this is the, the path forward. Like fulfillment centers, that's what you need to do. And I actually resorted to using fulfillment centers very quickly in my Shopify career because I realized that was also a way to offer extremely fast shipping. All of these stores that you see on Shopify, and it's very obvious that a store is actually on Shopify because you can see like the credit card, you know, logos and all that kind of stuff. It just looks like there's basic Shopify layout. Any store that offers two to three shipping does this. And so the reason why is you order, let's say 500 units from your supplier, uh, and you ship it to your fulfillment warehouse, right? So for example, ShipBob or ShipFusion. Uh, I personally use ShipFusion, it's great. And I also use ShipBob as well for another product. But you can have two to three day shipping because uh, the units go first to the fulfillment warehouse. And so they do all of the logistics for you. They go repack the product and ship it to your customer. 
uh, on your store and you can just go and you basically pay ShipBob or ShipFusion or your whatever fulfillment warehouse you're using for their fees. Uh, the only thing is that there is an added cost because you have to pay double shipping. So you have to pay shipping first from China to your fulfillment warehouse and then you have to pay their shipping cost as well. But trust me, the cut that you get, the small cut that you get in profit, it actually allows you to make much more profit because you get a much higher conversion rate on your store from having two to three days shipping. You can also insert your own marketing material. So you can also have actual good you know, pieces of paper in your product, which are called product inserts, asking for reviews on your website, promotional coupons, links to social media as well, instead of having, you know, like Chinese uh, text uh, marketing material. And you can also uh, have international presence. So you can store inventory in multiple centers around the world, which is what I do. One in the US, one in Europe, one in Asia to offer fast shipping everywhere. And that way your product is always ready to be shipped out. Uh, whenever your, your, your customer orders, doesn't matter if your supplier is making the units or not, you already have the units and there you go. Now, a very important note, you don't have to do this at the very beginning. I highly recommend drop shipping. So getting a supplier from Alibaba or from your drop shipping agent, and then just, you know, starting out with basic drop shipping. And then once you've proven the demand of the product, then switching over to using ship or ship fusion to store your inventory and, you know, becoming much more professional as a store and as a brand in that way. So this is what ShipFusion looks like, and ShipBob is basically the exact same thing. Uh, if you can go, you can go on and look at their pricing. We go up here and click on their pricing. And so as you can contact them right here. Sometimes they get a lot of uh, requests, so it takes them a bit more than 24 hours to respond, but they'll respond to you. And so they usually don't tell you what their exact pricing is until you like hop on a call with them, but that's fine. I recommend doing this after you've already established your dropshipping store and you're making money. Right. I don't recommend doing this at the very beginning because that defeats the whole purpose of dropshipping. It's just a much better way to increase the reputation of your store and the functionality of your store with a faster shipping cost and, uh, you know, just better customer experience overall in the long term. Now, remember, dropshipping and Shopify are legitimate business models. They're not like a get rich quick scheme. Unfortunately, in 2019, people still think that online business, not all, but some people still think that online business is some kind of a scam. It's some kind of a get rich quick scheme. And look, if you think that if you went into this video, I'm sure you, you don't think that by the end of this this video, you know, if you've stayed this long watching, then you understand that it requires serious patience and effort to start. It's not something that's super easy. It's something that will require you like some work on your part. It's just like going to the gym, right? You can't expect to become like a Greek God in two weeks, right? It's just not going to happen. Now, e-commerce, I can tell you is the best business that you can start today. It changed my life personally at age 22. I'm living proof that it works. You can go watch my, I don't know how many videos I have 400 videos now on e-commerce on Amazon on Shopify, and you can see, you know, how my life has changed. And so the reason why I'm creating this is because I want to spread good information, like the right information about what's working for me uh, in hitting multiple seven figures as a milestone in my sh drop shipping a career. And so e-commerce will surely change your life as well if you take action and follow the right information. Now, stop waiting. Time is ticking. Somebody right now watching this video will start a drop shipping business that will go on to change their life and make six to seven and even eight figures a year potentially. So is that person going to be you? That's up to you. Doing this without mentorship, without having a step-by-step -step guide, honestly, is incredibly hard. And I actually took many courses when I first started out with online business. It wasn't with Shopify. I actually couldn't find any good courses for Shopify. So I had to learn this all myself. I had to, you know, pay thousands of dollars in Facebook ads, thousands of dollars in testing the right products. Back when I was actually testing products, now I found much better ways of doing it. And so I show everything, every single step to hit a six and seven figure Shopify business, to build a six and seven figure Shopify business in the Shopify Freedom course. So the link is down below for that. You'll also access my unlimited mentorship in there and make sure to join before this round of students closes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you did and if you are interested in living the freedom lifestyle and in the absolute best Shopify content, dropshipping content, the real no BS, no fluff stuff. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon.